Welcome back to the show. Today, it's all about learning. I'm sharing my first and only bowling lesson in hopes that you'll find some valuable information to help your game. Let's dive in and level up together. What, what, are, you, what are you looking at when you're bowling? Those uh, first arrows. Okay, the, the arrows, okay, perfect, that's good. Uh, okay. There's parts of there that we'll work on. You have a routine when you set up, but that's the first thing that I want to help you with, that routine. Okay. Um, a, if you're going to bowl a lot, it'll help you keep from getting tired. So I'm, I'll come down there with okay. you. One of the things is, is a lot of bowlers, they'll, you pick your ball up and you're going to pick it up off the rack and you're going to walk up there with your hands in it like you are. Yeah. Right? You're holding all that weight the whole time. Pick your ball up, come up here. Stand where you stand, then put your hand in it. So, so you're, get tired the yeah, whole time. Sa gotcha. saves on saves on your arm. Uh, so now let's do that. Let's go ahead and have you just stand where you, where you normally so stand. I don't know if I'm doing a four. Or no, five. it doesn't matter. So we'll I'll, we'll address that. So well, we're, we're, we're only going to pick a couple things wherever you normally stand. Stand about right here. Okay, go ahead and set up like you're getting ready to bowl. Okay, so we're going to take a couple things here is your ball swing is supposed to be like a pendulum on a grandfather's clock, right? Mm -hmm. Straight back and straight forward. If you look down, your ball's right here. What's, so what, right, what's, it, what's right in the... Nuts. You get Correct, right through the nuts, right? So ball out here, let's drop it down a little bit. And see how you got your muscles going here? Yeah. Relax. Okay. Relax. Hold the weight of the ball in this hand. Okay. Okay, there you go. And then let's get our hand underneath of it like that, okay? And then drop this elbow just a little bit right here. Now. I want you to try throwing it once like that. Bend your knees just a little bit. Yep, just roll. Okay, when you're relaxed, you're, it's not about how hard you can throw it. Once, you, once this ball goes here, the ball does the work. You don't muscle it. Get set up, so okay. It was more like this. this. Drop that elbow down here though. Like right here? Way down. Yep. Now bend your knees. Now the one thing is, as soon as you kind of push the ball out, you're turning like this. Okay. Stay under it. Okay. Stay under it. Yep. Okay. Right. So now sometimes when you're bowling, like when I watch you, sometimes you'd miss to the left or the right. And that's because you were trying to either, you couldn't get around your body, right? And you would miss to the right or you were pulling it around your body and you'd miss to the left. Gotcha. That's because you can't go straight back. Yeah. So try those a couple more times. Okay. When you compete, you'll have different hand positions as you get more advanced. Yeah. But the best thing you can be is behind the ball. Behind the ball, and when you set that ball down, the foot that you're sliding on with your left foot, you're literally almost hitting your ankle. Okay. Like that's that's how straight you are. Yeah. Like because your your knee is bent, your chin's over your shoe here, and you're coming through, and you're almost I mean, close to hitting your ankle. Yeah. Like you know that's okay. that's the money shot. This hand, if it feels, I bet you underneath feels really awkward, right? Yeah. Don't give up on this. Okay. Don't give up with this elbow at your side. Don't give up with the ball out okay. to your side. Okay. So uh, yep. try to drop this elbow a little bit and. I don't I want it like on my hip bone. You're like yeah, you want to and then when you when you push it, I almost want you to feel like you're pushing it to the right a little bit. Okay. Like exact I don't want you to go to yeah, the right. I just want a, a little just a little take bit. An yeah. up. Yep. Oh, there you go. And see there you well, but but you're right on your. I mean, you are right so on you your. That close. Yeah, you're almost right on. Your, and see that one, you just was all smooth all the way through. When you got here, you didn't jerk on it, and yeah. you didn't you didn't you didn't head up, right? Okay. So you rolled that one pretty good. You had good reaction, um, like because you didn't try to throw it. And on that ball, that's how you're going to get the most action out. Slowing it down a little bit. A mile an hour difference in the ball speed, right, is going to affect the ball, how it breaks on the lane by a foot. Yeah. Right? So if you throw it a mile an hour faster, it's going to break a foot later. 
you throw it a mile an hour slower, it's going to break a foot earlier. Yeah. It's inch, or it could be six inches, you know, Whatever but. but. Is, yeah. Okay, so difference, that shot from your last shot will be your balance. That okay. shot, right, you fell off as soon as you threw that ball. Yeah. That, you were out of time, right? You literally were probably at the foul line. That was a ball coming up. <laughs> I was like, what the, I thought I dropped up. Uh, you were probably, uh, I have to watch, watch again because I was watching your arm swing, but you were at the, at the foul line, so then you had to jerk the ball through. Yeah. And so when you jerk the ball through, instantly step this way, yeah. right? One of the drills I talked about, you running, is coming up here when you first start, and you could do this two ways. So you can do a one step or a no step. It's your preference. But like if I'm doing a one step, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna start with the ball, right? And I'm just gonna swing it, step forward and throw it. And I'm gonna hold, hold, right? Foot over, hold, because that's balance, Yeah. right? On one foot? Uh, one, 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 you know, your left foot forward yeah. and this foot back here, back here, hold whatever, it. yep. And this, and follow through, like, literally. Uh, in fact, he probably won't want to be on camera, but there's a bowler back there. He finishes on one foot with his foot up in the air, but every time finishes like that. Let's try that one. Yeah. So just hold, just literally swing the ball, start with it at your side. There you go. Yeah, see? And the difference there is you're still trying to throw at the same speed. You're only taking one step. Your, yeah. your legs generate power. Your legs generate speed. You're taking one step. So don't try to throw it. Roll it. We're rolling it. Better. But it was be it was better. You're still trying to pull it through. Let the ball swing through. Just drop like Just gravity weight. Gravity weight. Oh, even better. Okay. Close. Now, now same thing there, but don't stop. Right. So, for instance, you play golf, right? Yeah. Setting up for golf, and I go like this, big old swing. I get here and I hit the ball and I stop. Where's the ball going? Yeah. So, Where's it going? We don't know, yeah, right? <laughs> right. So you come through your shot all the way and you follow through. Same thing, bowling, football, baseball, right? If you don't follow through all the way up and you're jerking or stopping at a different point, the ball could go this way or this way depending on how you're letting go of it. Okay. All the way up. Oh, better. If I'm coming to practice, I don't practice for score. I have a purpose for practice, what I'm working on for that day. Am I working on spare shooting, a 10 pin, a seven pin, a four pin, a six pin? Am I working on my release? Am I working on a certain target on the lane? Always a purpose for practice, right? Better, 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 better. Yeah, see? You don't have to hold your hand up. Maybe just let it free flow. Yep. Well, okay, one more shot and then we'll do the next one. Oh, good. It's tough, yeah. right? Like some people, some people might look at this and go, oh, the guy giving lessons is crazy because that's not really that good. But if you were falling off every shot, we just literally made a 70% improvement, yeah. right? 70% might equal 10 pins on the lane. Yeah. Now you just went from 150 to 160. Yeah. So, okay, so the next one, this is where it can be either easier or more difficult. So you're gonna come up here. You're gonna line up wherever you want. Now we're doing no step. Okay. We're in our finishing position, right? Ball here, we're just gonna let it swing and we're gonna roll it. And hold it, right? That's all we're gonna do. Okay. No but step. you're not doing this. See how I'm straight up? Yeah. Because if you're coming down how you're starting and then you stand up, you're jerking on it. You gotta be down. And again, I don't know your flexibility in your knee, any of that stuff. So you do again what's a, what's comfortable for you, but you got to have some some knee bend in it. Get your this foot straight. You want to kind of have that. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to kick it over if you don't want to. Whatever's comfortable for you. Like You're perfect. Whatever's comfortable for you. And we're just rolling it. 
Now see how you went to the left, like you instantly set it down going yeah. this way, right? Going around my body Yep, again. going around your body. Stay behind the ball. So we're gonna over exaggerate, right? So when I say over exaggerate, you wanna imagine those grips and the thumbs rolling right over each other like okay. this. So your ball right now, you really can't see, but right here, see the oil's here? Yeah. Kinda in here, but you're kinda spinning. You literally wanna almost imagine it going okay. over that. And I'm not saying that's the way I want to teach you, yeah. but that's over exaggerating. It's still flip it, you know, when your thumb comes off and flip it, but hand behind the ball. Better? Still went around my yeah, no, it's okay. So what I'm gonna do on this shot is, I'm gonna, we'll have you do the same thing. I'm gonna put my hand out there and I want you to look at my hand. Okay. You're looking right here. You, right here, just roll it to, you know. Okay, see you missed by, I don't know, six boards, seven boards, but you were closer, yeah. right? So, fo get it all the way look, 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 yeah, look in, be, look in between the first and second arrow, so in between each arrow, to each arrow is five boards, so if you count them, right? One, yeah. two, three, four, five. So in bowling, we'll be like, okay, I want you to move two and one. Two boards with your feet, one with your eyes. Okay. Right? Or three and one, or five and three, or whatever it is. So like right now, I want you to do this drill, and I want you to look at the seven, seven board, okay. or eight board, whatever's more comfortable for you. Okay. Your feet, I would probably put at, yeah, I'd say 20, 22, whatever's and comfortable. seven board, or eight board? Yep. and the hand behind it. That's better, look at that. See the difference there? That actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, so do one more like that. So the difference there is it's also focusing on our target. A lot of us look at what pin we have, right? You look up there and you're like, oh, I got the seven pin. And you're looking at a target, but and you're, you're looking at your target, but you're still looking at the seven pin, right? <laughs> Or, like right now, you have the one three. You can be looking at seven and eight, but also looking at the one three. Focus on the seven eight. Forget okay. about the one three. Same thing? Yep. I don't care if you get the spare, we're not working on that. We're... And then seven eight. Yep. Yeah. Missed this. Missed this. So there, your backswing got shorter on that one. Did it? Yeah, you kind of like. Maybe you t tried too hard. Yeah. yeah okay. Trying to be all precise, yeah. I ended up screwing it up. All right, so now we had one of those that was really good, uh, two so-so and a couple bad ones. So now what I want you to do is go back and do your approach, roll the ball, don't throw it, finish with your knee bent, and stay behind it, and seven or eight board. So put it all together. Yeah. Put it all together. Just do that. Just do that. It's easy. I, th I feel like you dropped it a little bit. Like you were did, you yeah. were really relaxed, right? Yeah. So you got out of it quicker. That's okay, you're relaxing your arm, okay. right? Don't worry about it. Same thing? Same thing. So again, like I said, when you practice with a purpose, it's not because you threw a gutter ball or you shot oh, 50, yeah, no, none, of, none of that matters. So stay, re stay relaxed again. There you go. Okay, you were more balanced at the line, right? Watch the strike shot, more balanced at the line. You had, you still got this partial follow through, that may just be your natural. What I want you to do on this next one is I really want you to extend that follow through. Okay. I want you to extend it. We're thinking about five or six things, our mind's yeah. going crazy. I've given you a bunch of stuff that we could, that it potentially work on, right? Yeah. It's, There you go. Hey, no. That felt, everything felt oh, a lot better on dude. that one. There you go. Felt good for a gutter ball. Best gutter ball I've ever thrown. <laughs> I just, I, you actually had your balance a little bit more. You had a good follow through. Again, so some of this with like a little bit higher end bowling ball, that ball actually probably would have grabbed the outside of the lane and hooked a little bit. Came in. Yep.
Oh, there we go. Now see there? So you, you held and you had the balance a little bit more firm and you didn't extend the follow through. Yeah. Right? You, and I felt like I was extended, but I it yep, needs to yep, go all the way Yeah. Out. But if that's natural, right, we'll work on that. If that's natural, then we adjust to that one. Uh, that one, you just, you still threw it a little bit firm. And if you miss in with a ball that's low end where there's oil in the center of the lane, the ball's gonna slide further, right? Less oil on the outside of the lane, more oil in the middle of the lane. Middle of the lane, less hook. Out part of the lane, more hook on what you're bowling on. Not on every pattern, but this one. There you go. Now, see the difference even in the reaction though? Yeah. Like when you come up all the way through that ball, you get a little bit more, a little more back in. Yeah. A little more back in. You stop right here, the ball's a little bit lazy. Yeah. Right? There's a couple things that we'll want to work on that this leads out that like say you're watching the video and you'll be like, oh man, my shoulders were facing this way when I followed through. We'll work on that, right? We can't perfect everything in, in, in 25 minutes. Yeah. It's there you go. Nice. Nice. That one was good. I like that one. Yeah, you know, my foot seems to want to turn at the line. Yeah, it, it does that sometimes when you're a little bit fast with your feet or at a time. <laughs> that shot was probably one of the better shots you've thrown, that it wasn't like that. The other thing is holding your balance is new, right? There you go. And you're turning your foot to hold your balance, yeah. right? Okay, so you wanna film at home. I'm gonna give them an exercise. Oh, you ready? That. All right, so make sure there's nothing around you, right? Left, you can do both your left foot and right foot, I would suggest, right? Left foot up, knee bent, right? Arms out to your side. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever you feel comfortable with. Strength of the angle. Right, and, and your knee, right? You're getting that knee bent. Now, left, I bowl right hand, it's to the left, right? If I get on the right here, I have a bad ankle, and you can see that literally the right is tougher for me, but the left from bowling, I literally do this, right? Because I'm bowling, hand out to your side, thumb down, and then as you get more comfortable, you can get lower, right? Yeah, and I'm already wobbly. Yeah, so now you, so, so that transitions is to your finishing position on the lane, finish that way. Right. You, you, you generate your power through your legs and, and, and slide and come through the shot and hold it. See now that time his foot was forward. So that time you were able to keep your foot forward. Yeah, I wasn't doing all the Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got around your body. Yeah, you no, got you got around your butt. Yeah, five reps and he'll be out on tour. <laughs> Rep number two. Watch this. Yeah. And you've already told him to get new gear. I, I think so. Yeah, to be honest, there'd be there'd be two two things that he would get for gear. Which would be what? A spare ball. Yeah. And a and a, a, a higher end a bowling ball. I'm not saying go out and. Uh, go out and clear the farm, but if you're really thinking about it, and we can work a lesson with, with this ball, and you have to remember at the level you're at, there's tournaments and organizations out there that are good for you to bowl, especially if you go, hey, I wanna kinda get into a tournament field and get a little bit, so there's a RTB tournament. I definitely wanna do that. So RTB tournament is a handy, they have, it's a handicap tournament, but scratch bowlers also bowl in it. And then there's like these three person Swiss tournaments that are fun to bowl because they're like six games or eight games and the lanes transition. So then you start learning how to move as the oil moves, right? Or the oil dissipates, there's less oil. So now we have to move further left. Or yeah. we go to a house, there's more oil. We got to move further right. There's you lots. learn a lot by doing it. Yep, them. yeah. And they're not tournaments that are, you know, you're not spending 350 bucks to enter. You're spending some of them 80 bucks, some yeah. of them 50 bucks, some of them 120, you know, but in the end, if it'll help you get better yeah. as, as you, as you, Perfected. What kind of ball do I need? All right, one is a spare ball. Yeah. Is always essential to, yeah, plastic, to ball. plastic ball. White dot, maximum uh, uh, storm mix. 
The one uh, with the rose in it from Kingpin? Mm -hmm. The one with the rose, gold flakes. Every brand makes a good bowling ball, right? I mean, otherwise they wouldn't exist. So as a, as a pro shop person, it would be like, what do I believe is good in your hands? There's probably four or five balls out there, and there's new ones coming out that'll be good in your hands as a ball up. Yeah. For a plastic ball, I like the Ebonite Maximum, the black sparkle one. I, that's just my favorite spare ball. Yeah. You know, so, but you can get any one. You like a bunch of colors, then they have white dots and storm mixes. Because and spare ball doesn't really matter. It's not like one, it's just a plastic. It's plastic, it's in a slide, it's polyurethane on the lane. So, so. you can just get it for looks? Yep. We can get one with your picture on it. You're at the foul line early, so you're pulling it, pulling it through because you're also turning it with your arm to pull it, right? You're only, this is turn, yeah. right here. This part is straight. You're literally um, spiral football, right? Underhand spiral football. Yeah. Like literally, like, like it, your fingers? Yep. Once your thumb, when your thumb starts coming out, you don't turn it with your thumb. You turn it with your fingers. And then flick it like yep. Football. Yep. Better. Yep. Yeah. So try to really project this part of your arm through your target, right? Yeah. So for instance, if you're starting right here, and I know up front, if I'm starting right here, right. I'm looking with my eyes right now, I'm looking at about 12, but d down lane, I'm looking at the 10 pin shadow, the head of it, which is about six or seven board, right? Yeah. So I, for me, I draw a tar I draw, kind of draw a line, but I'll look at that down lane six or seven board where my break point is, where the ball starts hooking, but then I draw it right back, right? And then I'm following this through my target, right this part, on okay. right on that line. Oh, now part of that was good, but you probably felt like you lost some rotation on it, yeah. right? I think you were so focused on this that the <laughs> thumb came out and you didn't forgot to do the rest. Yep, but good execution of that going through your target. Better, better, nice. Yeah, you feel that uh, like. Right. Yeah, because I stuck that just at the target, but then I felt I was able to maneuver yep. it with my fingers. Yep. A million different ways to get better, but we need you to have the fundamentally of good timing, good balance, and a good follow through and a good release, right? Yeah. That's ultimate I think goal. If I can get all of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. then I'll be happy. Look at the balance, folks. Yeah. That's All right. my hardest part right now. So I'm going to try to help your timing. Okay. And you're probably not going to like it. Okay. But it's going to be fun. So Sorry. either way, we're going to enjoy it. So you have your ball. Pretend like you have your ball. Don't have your ball yet. Pretend okay. like you have your ball. I want you to go through the motion of the, your first step. Second step. Right? I think. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, you're close. So you almost get in one and a half, two steps before your ball moves, right? When you take that, when you take your first step, put your ball here, okay? I'm gonna take your hand now. I got your okay. hand. Take your first step. Okay. Right. So right away. Right away. Try it. Try it with the ball. Right away. And some people would say like a push away, like you're supposed to push away. So when you think push away, people think like this, right? Then you might be carrying it for too many steps. Literally. Oh. About else? I about no, 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 don't, I, I don't, again, yeah. I'm not going to beat the negative, right? You did exactly what I asked. You literally, literally. It actually feels better because everything's moving together. 100 right? I, I, I feel like. It seems like you could be more consistent. Yeah, so I, I want you to set up again. Okay, only thing I want you to do is I want you to move back four inches. There you go. How did the timing feel on that? Good. It felt well. It felt like everything came when it was supposed to. Yeah. So when we were up a little bit further and your feet moved a little faster, so that means you were to the line faster, right? We move you back a little bit. 
you're able to still keep your feet a little bit fast and then you push the ball away on your first step, created good timing, yeah. right? Let's so. <laughs> Two shots in a row, you didn't pull it. And I feel like I'm not getting so up on the line where I'm having to stop, you know? Yeah. Like I feel like I'm sliding and there's a little room left. Try, trying to create good timing. Yeah. Good timing, good timing. I like that one. Yep, do it again. Uh oh, he's running out of energy. It's gone. Battery's depleted. Video and personal. Oh, he's falling off. All right. So I want you to do one more. I don't. I want you to do one more. That one you got a little fast. So there's a couple things right in your mind, right? You go, oh, I need to throw the ball harder, right? So if you need to throw the ball harder, you know what happens? Your feet speed up, right? Oh, I need to throw the ball slower my feet slow down, yeah. right? So you have to choose in your mind, are you gonna talk to your feet or are you gonna talk to the ball, Yeah. right? Okay. I prefer to say, hey, I need to slow my feet down a little bit. Okay. I, I prefer talking to my feet, not the ball. One more shot, think back here. And then we'll take him to the pro shop so he can look at bowling balls. Oh, great. <laughs> oh. Yes. Hey. Yeah. But you you didn't pull it, right? Yeah.